Welcome back to Good Day. It's Wednesday and time for Amanda's Knit Along. Yes, last week Chris from Chickadee Knit Studio showed us some project, some products available to wash your woolen items and today she actually does the washing with a little trick for getting out the excess water. Check this out. Hi, so last time we talked about what detergent to use to wash your handmade items. And this time I thought it would be a good idea to just walk through the process of how to wash a wool hand knit accessory. So one thing you have to remember is that you don't want the wool to felt in the washing process. And so that's a result of heat and friction. So the whole goal in washing your item is to avoid heat and to avoid friction. So what we're going to do is simply fill up a basin with tepid water, which would be about body temperature water, and a very tiny bit of wool wash, and then we'll let the item soak into the water for about 15 to 30 minutes and try not to agitate it and then remove as much water as possible without wringing the item and then my next little trick is to use a salad spinner to get the rest of the water out of the item. Voila! Interesting. I would have never thought to put it in a salad spinner. I love that. But it makes sense now that you see it. Yes, because she said you don't want to wring it because it's going to damage it. Oh. So, but you got to get the water out so it'll dry quicker. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, you know. Yes, and um, we won't have knit along next week because I'm not going to be here. Mm -hmm. But the next week, she's going to continue the process a little bit further for us to how to block it. So stick with us in a couple weeks. Um, Chris Ooh. will continue this process for us. That's exciting. Time now to show off your projects. These are from Audrey Rumler. She's been knitting for more than 50 years, and she actually loves knitting socks. But recently, she purchased a used flatbed knitting machine. And she has made several blankets, a vest, a sweater. She said that didn't fit very well. <laughs> We've all been uh, there. She, so she would love if one of you watching who has experience with making many items on a flatbed knitting machine can reach out to me so we can have you on the show. So please do that if you have some experience with that. Wow. She has made some beautiful stuff. And Those look gorgeous. Yeah, the sweater looks great to me. I, I mean, maybe put it on a doll. First. Put it on, just put it on a doll <laughs> or something like that. So hopefully, Audrey, we can get some help for you. Yeah. Uh, anybody watching who has experience, please reach out to me. This is from Barb Chio. After the sweater she made with the woolen scraps we showed you last week, she wanted some quicker projects because that sweater took her a long time. Wow. So this time she said that she was asked to make a heart. If you see a little pink oh, heart there yes. for a friend who needs about 40 of them. Oh <laughs> so she says they actually knit pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm going to have to get that pattern from Barb too because that looks, that I like easy. That's and pretty. that looks pretty and we're coming up on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Uh, then she found some super bulky yarn and she made some slippers. So that's what you see there. She oh. says they're actually brown, not purple. What? <laughs> I don't know, right? No way. Um, but she did say that her hands ached a little bit from using the larger needles. Oh, really? With the bulky yarn. I can see that because even sometimes mine will, will ache a little bit on smaller needles. So I can imagine the bigger ones. So the bigger the needles, the more your hands will... Yeah, and the bulkier yeah. the yarn, I think, too. I think, yeah. So, I'm but learning. they, but they look beautiful, and they look really comfy and cozy for this time of year. I too. know, so beautiful, I love Barb. It. Thank you. Heidi Arnell calls this her work in progress. I had to ask her what WIP meant. She was like, "It's my WIP." I was like, "What is that?" She's like, "Oh, my work in progress." <gasps> oh. <laughs> It's going to be a pillowcase wow. when it's done. That's fitting for this time of year. Super cute, a right? Scarf. Oh my goodness. Very cute, Heidi. You'll have to make sure you show us when it's all done and it's on a pillow on your couch or on your bed or whatever. Um, maybe maybe in time for the for the holiday season. She's she's on like top it. of it. She'll be ahead of the game. And Joni Marsh says her daughter Liz made this for her for Christmas. Looks like a scarf here. She Aww. says homemade gifts are always better than store bought, and yes. this is truly keeping her warm right about now, don't you think? Especially a present that's handmade from your mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet. Yes. One of these days, maybe I'll teach Maggie to knit so she can make me something. 
<laughs> Do you think Maggie would knit? No, I don't. I don't. But you never know. You never, never know. Never say never. And never say never, yeah. We want to see what you're working on, so send me pictures of your projects, whether it's something you're working on right now or one of your favorites from the past. You can find me on Facebook, Amanda Fay Anchor Reporter. And stay with us for more Good Day. We'll be right back.